Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Shield. Last episode, we basically gone through this bright mushroom forest, then end up in this town, which is beautiful. I love the mushroom colors. It is beautiful. And we defeated the gym leader, um, Opal. Uh, speaking of Opal, why is she here now? Hold on now. I got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Care to join me for a journey? If you're headed for the next gym stadium, you need to get to Hammerlock too, after all. With pleasure. They say two's company, after all. Hermalock, always such a dusty town. Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. I almost felt like I was going the wrong way for a second, but then realized that it was just already on this side. And this is the actual center part. I swear, I thought he was about to go crazy, but anyways. Come to gawk on me now that I've had my challenge ban taken away from my gym challenger status revoked. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Not really. I can... I commend your humility. It's a pre, it's appropriate for a trainer like your... Trainer of your limited talents. I'll have you know, though, I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help the, help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Hmm, that boy. Now that now that's what I call pink. So sincere and straightforward, and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some death. Time for my gym mission, child. Whoa, what? Uh, what? Pink. What the hell? Hold up. Did she really just go from walking so slow to speeding up to... What in the... I mean, I know it's just a game, but... Okay. Pink and pink. Congratulations. What in the? <laughs> Yo, her face, bro. I mean, technically, that's a darker pink and not necessarily. It kind of looks purple, but that's just me. I don't even care no more. Funny thing is, is that even if I did wear pink, she probably would have said the same thing. I mean, I like fairy types, but of course I like all types equally. It just depends on the Pokemon, really, and how they look. Although some Pokemon I don't mind to be looking not as attractive to me, but that's just me. Anyway, Miss Opal? What in the world has gotten into you? You used to be, you were used by Elena, am I right? You worked hard to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her throw you away like rubbish once she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are you... are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars. Farewell for now, child. You should head to... Sir Chester. I take it you know how to get get to Route 7. Well, that was a bit, um, interesting. Hmm. 
Route 7 is this way, right? If I'm not mistaken. Oh, there she is. Hey, uh, the batch collect the batch collecting going well? I've been doing some research on the ruins in Stowan's side. The sword and shield. What kind of Pokemon were they? And where, where are they now? I still have so many questions. I was thinking about taking another look at the tape strides and... What in the hell? Hey, look, the guy... <laughs> uh, him too. Uh, and the bird looking too. Are you kidding me? What was that? Hammerlock Stadium shook. That's where the Chairman Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Huh? A power spot? What's wrong? I'm getting readings from the power spot detector. Does that mean Dynamaxing is possible here? Hey, Sonia, and Tia, too. You felt the shaking, right? It seems Chairman Rose is testing something again. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing out right in the middle of Hammerlock. Is that so? I can make sure the Chairman knows. You'll just get lost, Leon. I'm going, too. I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals. So you should leave the investigation of the quaking to the adults. Head to the Sir Chester and get that badge. Do that. Oh, Tia. Oh, I did not see him there. What? Did he just walk out or something? First that forest and then that mad quiz. I've been lost in every sense of the word. But it looks like I've finally caught up to you again. Come with me to Route 7. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. It's funny how they got three Pokemon Centers on each side. One in the middle and challenge the next gym at Sir Chester. Alright, Tia. You and I both know I've got to keep on trying the different strategies if I'm going to get strong enough to catch up to Lee. No, not just catch up. If I want to surpass him. So I think you know what's coming, mate. Let me try out my latest in battle against in a battle against you. My bad. What the hell? He got a fucking Trevenant? What? All right, time for me to test exactly how far I got with my latest and greatest team. We'll camp soon. Just do this battle first for me, please. The way you battle, you know, it kind of reminds me of Lee. Bring it on, what's next? Bolton. We both got Boltons, baby! Actually, forget it. Just keep it out. The only reason why I chose Bolton was because the fact that it was like a dog Pokemon. And it looked it looked adorable, to be honest. I wouldn't have any other way. So it's kind of interesting how we both got Boltons together. Bring it out. What's next? Rilla Bloom. Oh, that's the, um... Yep, I know it. The funny thing is, when I looked him up, all the Pokédex thing, he, apparently he has the highest attack out of all the three starters. And from what I can see, it seems like um, Cinderace is the weakest, even though everyone likes him. Nice.
What in the hell? <laughs> We're just missing our attacks. Try again. There we go. We just avoided our attacks those past two turns. That's funny as hell. Cinderace wants to learn court change. What's that? I knew it would be a normal move. When with this mysterious power, the use swaps the effects on either side of the field. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't want it. I really, I really don't have anything up against it, but I'm trying to get every Pokemon a little bit of shine, you know. I'm the kind of guy who gets fired up to win these situations. This is, rub this is rubbish. My team can't perform if I can't get my own head straight as their trainer. Before we ever, st or ever started on this journey, I remember watching Lee on the telly. He was like a bright star, so strong I could hardly bear to look at right, right at him. But now I could tell just how strong he really is, and what he's got that I haven't. But I'm getting stronger too. Maybe not as fast as you, but fine. Whatever. Thanks for letting me battle with you again. And here, I'll heal up your team for you too. I think I know what it is I really want. I want to battle Lee. I want to take on my bro. But not just that. I want to beat him. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion. And I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and me are going to have another battle once I get my gym badge in Sir Chester. What? What is that? Wait, is that? What is that? I don't even know what poke. What the hell is that? Oh wait, that's me out. Uh. <clears throat> I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it. It's Perserker. I confused it for me out when I knew for 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 full fact that it wasn't. What? That's female. Ew. I would like to be male. The heck? Caught it. And one try too. Perserker, the Viking Pokemon. After many battles, it, it involved dangerous claws that come together and form daggers when extended. At least I didn't let it go directly towards me immediately. Otherwise, I would have been screwed. So we here. You can't just silence Team Yell. She's cute. She's tough. She won't take no one's guff. Oh, Marini, Mar, Mar, Marnie, Mar, Marnie, Marnie, Marty, whatever. She's our Marnie. Well, whatever the hell that was. As a model, I'll show you the appeal of my partner Pokemon. Oh, that's what I call cute.
Makes sense she would have B Pokemon. Oh yeah, weak bug weakness. I forgot. But I guess it doesn't really matter since I'm stronger. What a great trainer you are. You really showed the off the peel of your apartment Pokemon. Huh? Oh! Hello there! How are you doing? It's more Pekko. Damn it, why you gotta be a dude? Forget it. Caught it in one try. Again. More Pekko, the two-sided Pokemon. It carries electricity, roasted seeds, with it as if it's their precious treasure. No matter how much it eats, it always gets hungry again and sh in shot order. Shit, my feet is paralyzed again. What? How did it come out of nowhere like that? And it's gonna see me. Oh. Hey, how you doing? Wait, come back, come back. It, that junk just appeared out of nowhere. But where did more Pekko come from? I just saw it out in the middle of the open like that. Yet, I don't know where the hell... Wait, what the hell is that over there? Oh, that's Lightbird. Wait. Yeah, that's Lightbird. I was so confused. I was like, what the heck? So they're all just running around randomly. Oh, look, it's Corvus Gaia. Oh, you're gonna be fine. Rufflet? Oh, see, I'll be forgetting shit. This is Gen 5 Pokemon. No matter where I go in my taxi, lost and loneliness seem to follow. Oh, not another one. I'm finna die. I'm finna die. I'm fit. What? This. Oh, I'm finna die. Oh no! Stop. There's too many of them. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. <laughs> Why must you do this to me? <laughs> Next thing, I'm gonna get tangled up with the rest of them. Damn. I knew it. Leave me alone, Berserker. You're ugly. Berserker, go away. It's a Gavishula. Oh, bitch. Wait, no! <laughs> They're all standing right here. Camping time. Oh, what the heck? I'm doing this for my lovely dovey, little one over there. And there's my mom. Hey, how you doing?
Yes, hit that joint. Hit it. Hit it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm about to occupy myself with these Pokemons. So, anyways, though, um, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next video shortly. See ya.